We are looking here at lungs, which you might imagine are overexpanded. It looks like that pleura is really stretched. In addition, if we were to cut this lung, any of the lobes that look overexpanded, uh, and look at their cut surface, we must see that a lot of the bronchi or uh, small bronchi or bronchioles look like they have a lot of junk, a lot of mucus protruding from them. Some of it may be kind of a dried, not a normal yucky mucus like this, but perhaps an inspissated or dried out mucus, which would explain uh, why the lung is overexpanded. These small airways are being obstructed with this dried out junk and therefore, the rest of the lung is having a hard time push out air, pushing out air. So there is our, our overexpanded alveoli as well and overexpanded lungs. If we were to look at these areas, these small bronchi and bronchioles, with uh, a microscope, we might see something that looks like this. We could see a little bit of cartilage here surrounding the bronchus. We could see alveoli out here, maybe a little overexpanded, but we would see all the features of chronic bronchitis because asthma is chronic bronchitis. And some of those features would be uh, inflammation around the bronchus, perhaps some hypertrophy of the smooth muscle surrounding the bronchus, perhaps hyperplastic mucus glands surrounding the bronchus, which would explain where there's always more than an abundant amount of mucus within these glands. Those are the classical histologic features of asthma or chronic bronchitis. But in addition, asthma, because it is a uh, thought to have, in many respects, a allergic factor, allergic etiologies. If you look in the inflammatory cells, which are parts of the wall, and we will, and we could look at them anywhere, you will see the type of cell, which is always uh, indicative of allergic etiologies, and those are eosinophils. So let's see if we could click up one more notch. And uh, I could already see an increase in eosinophils. There's one, there's one, there's one. Now I have to be careful because if, for example, there was a capillary like maybe here, it's about it's standing about the same color as what an eosinophil would. So we have to go up as high as we can and make sure that when we see uh, cells that look like they are inflammatory cells, but their individual cytoplasm is very red. You know, those are not capillaries. You know, those are eosinophils, like we see here, and here, and here, and here. Oh, probably here, definitely here. So eosinophils are always a very important part of the other three features of chronic bronchitis, in which you have increased mucin, uh, chronic inflammatory cell infiltrate, and a hyperplasia of smooth muscle surrounding the bronchus or bronchiole, which we see here. Thank you very much, classical asthma.